What's up all yins, guys and gals? Welcome back to Matt DIY. So today we got a quick review for you. I recently installed a uh, spare tra trailer tire holder on my trailer. So I figured we'd go ahead and go over. It's actually a cheaper one from Harbor Freight, but I'm actually really impressed with it. So I thought I'd shoot a quick video. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in. But before we do, guys, if you like videos like this, reviews, how-tos, things like that, be sure to subscribe down below. Turn on those notifications so you know when I upload a video, which is about three times per week. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Alrighty, folks, so what we're talking about here is actually the Hallmaster uh, spare trailer tire carrier. Um, so pretty easy to install, fits all trailers with tongues up to three inches wide, um, steel construction, stuff like that. So I figured I'd just go over it, what it takes to install and uh, let you guys know. So here it actually is complete with uh, the tire mounted on my trailer and it is uh, really sturdy if I shake it you know the whole trailer moves so pretty happy with it so i'll just show you kind of how it works so i was a little worried because the trailer i don't have like full tubular frame as you can see it's just uh it's just a uh you know a piece of steel on each side but i ended up you know i could have installed it there but i ended up stalling installing it on the uh, front fork here um where there's actually a piece on the top and the bottom as you can see so that way it has something to grab onto and it's pretty easy it comes with uh this main piece here which is the mount um and then you, it comes with all the hardware needed and you put the bolts through the front end with the little bracket on the back and then your uh, washer lock washer and nut on the back as well one thing i did want to mention and that i actually added to this was on the front i actually added an extra flat washer so I'm not sure if mine was missing some pieces or what, but uh, in the in the picture, it actually shows that there's a washer on the front side as well as the back side. Um, and I guess, you know, technically you could just put a lock washer on the back side, but I opted to hunt around in some hardware that I had and I just added an extra flat washer to the front and then used the flat washer and lock washer it came with on the back. That way it's nice and sturdy and has a real nice grip. Um, and it's not just relying on the bolt head there to uh, to hold it on. But like I said, super sturdy uh, now that I have it tight. Of course, these are really long. Um, not much you can really do about that. I guess supposedly you could cut them off if you wanted to. Um, in my case, you know, because I may want to use this on a different trailer in the future, I don't have a problem with it. They're pointing inward here and it's not affecting anything. And actually the trailer is much wider than where the, tr the tire sticks out. So this is the perfect mounting location for it. And you can see I got lots of room up to the hitch there. So turning and things behind the car or truck, um, not going to be an issue. So let's go around the front here. Again, pretty easy to install. You're just basically putting the brackets on the bar there and installing it. And then it comes with uh, two lugs, one, two, um, for the front side. Now, I found this interesting too. So these are actually wheel lugs. It looks like you could just, you know, screw it on. Um, Right through here, these are actually carriage bolts. On the back, you can see the uh, carriage bolt there. Um, so they're actually carriage bolts that hold it on. But what I actually did was, um, they come with a lock washer and a flat washer as well. So I went ahead and used those um, with the bolt actually flipped around so the flat part is facing the washers. That way it just holds it on nice and snug because the uh, lug itself was actually a little small for my trailer tire. Um, but this, doing it this way, and this is actually the way that it shows in the pictures, um, worked out fine and it holds it on great. Um, one thing to mention, there's actually a, a hole um, directly above this one. So if your trailer tire mounts that way, um, but there's also another hole to the left. And that happens to be how mine fit uh, with this to the left. And that's depending on your rim size or your bolt pattern um, and how it matches up. But it seems to be pretty flexible and match just about any um, trailer tire that you have. So this one here, uh, just to give you a reference, is a 205-7515, so we got a 15 inch rim. Um, just a cheap, cheaper trailer tire off Amazon that I got um, that included the, that included the uh, rim and tire already mounted as well, so I could just bolt it up and have an extra one. So if I'm going down the road sometime, um, you know, hit a nail or something, trailer tire pops. I'm not completely uh, SOL. Uh, to just take this guy off, throw it on, always carry tools with me, and uh, be right back on the road, uh, up and going. So, 
Figured I'd do a quick review back up here, show you again. And uh, yeah, super happy with it. Easy to install. I think they're pretty cheap too. I want to say between twenty and forty dollars, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to. Uh, I'll put a little uh, text here in the video to let you know how much it actually is at the time of me making this video, because I can't remember for the life of me right now. But. Uh, yeah, love it. Seems to work out great. It's exactly what I was looking for and figured I'd just shoot a video in case you're on the fence. Um, you know, another Harbor Freight product uh, coming in clutch here. So hope this helps out. All right, guys, thanks for watching that quick review there of the Hallmaster trailer tire carrier. Uh, if you have a utility trailer or something like me and you want to carry an extra tire around in case you, you know, you had an issue, uh, I definitely recommend it. So, uh, you know, go out there, get you one of these at Harbor Freight. They're pretty cheap and uh, they definitely do the job. So guys, I'd appreciate it if you like this video. It really helps out the channel. Uh, if it helped you out with your decision, I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, guys, get out there, do it yourself.